one of the coolest parts about our community is there are people at different stages, right? There are people that have like scaled businesses and exited. There are people that are doing their first startup for the first time. And so it is a lot of fun, sort of the give and take in, in both directions. And it's been great so far. It's been really interesting to learn from stories. All of the topics uh, were, were on point. Everything's been really well run and organized. And as someone who has to think about every single thing and every everything every day, it's, it's clear someone figured out we're all type A's and making it as easy as possible for us to just show up and everything else is taken care of. So it's really nice. So in 2015, Startup AZ was founded by a group of uh, entrepreneurs that uh, I recognize or encountered their own set of challenges in the ecosystem inside of Arizona and wanted to build a platform to help companies grow and give back. Fast forward six years later, having 44 plus companies in attendance and represented here, 75 plus in million in revenue, and this year alone over 100 million raised. It's a pretty phenomenal momentum that we're seeing in velocity, a pretty strong signal in terms of where we're going. Being all of us uh, founders here in Arizona, we're trying to represent a, a team, which is Team AZ, I call it. And so we want to see each other win. And I think that that's something really important that you don't see in a lot of other founder ecosystems uh, or other cities even. Being around other business owners that share their personal issues and their emotional lives actually got me in touch with my own emotions and vulnerability. So oddly, here I am at this late stage in life and I get in touch with my emotions when and how at the Startup Collective. <laughs> and it's actually, I think, important for making me a better business person, making me communicate better with my customers and with my team. And so I think it is what they call maybe a soft skill but I definitely didn't expect that. I genuinely think I'm gonna build uh, lifelong friendships here. Uh, that's what I'm most excited about is I'm in a very short amount of time, built very close relationships with people that I'm like, we're gonna hang out after this and we're gonna make it happen. So uh, I think the content was very focused. So there's enough time to have fun, but let's get in the weeds about sales growth, exits, uh, nuances. And it's been a very good experience because it's forced me, I think we still would have been okay as a company, but it's forced me to do certain things earlier than I otherwise would have, or given me the courage to do it, right? Because you're talking to other people that are going through what you're going through at the same time or have gone through it recently. And things like setting up quarterly strategic planning meetings, and you know, it gave me the the will to go to my team and say, "We we're going to do this, right?" And that's one of probably the biggest takeaways from my first year in 2017 was you, you really need to be doing this. And because we did that, I think our growth is much higher than it otherwise would have been, and we're a lot further along today than than had we not done that. So just having an ability, sometimes to just even vent out, sometimes to discuss, sometimes to have that insightful discussion. It's, uh, it's great. Sometimes just to hear that other people are going through the same challenge that you do, and you're not the crazy one, that's great. So I think, uh, you know, from that simplest aspect of knowing uh, what you are doing is, is a bit unique, but then there are other people as well in the same journey. Their challenges, experiences, opportunities, similar to what you have. To all the way, having an amazing uh, uh, camaraderie to make the success a synergistic and coming together. I wasn't kidding the other night when I said one of you is going to take a company public. It's going to happen. It's guaranteed. It's just a matter of who and when and you know how how how, how many years it's going to go by to get to that level. But there's companies that are definitely part of this that are you know performing at you know really high levels.